Um, I've been in the downtown area since 1998. I bought this building um, to put in a restaurant. The beautiful thing about being in business in Faribault is you're ingrained in the community. We were at a phase where we were experiencing rapid growth. The feel was right and getting to know the community, that's when it felt like you know we should be here. Um, I got started in Faribault um, as a holiday pop-up shop. Um, brought my connection with the local artists uh, to create a little collective for the holiday season. So that's kind of how the gallery began. You know, we're all from the Twin Cities, but every distillery in the cities kind of gets sort of shoved into these old garages and off the beaten path and stuff. And so we're like, okay, let's make a run here, you know, in a much cooler space than we could up there. Exactly. So I grew up in Faribault and Jordan from- I grew up in Nurstrand. So yeah, we- Faribault by extension. So. Always had a passion for coffee. So we it's another thing we've connected over is yep. our love of coffee and uh, creating community one cup at a time. Yep. And I've had businesses in downtown Faribault since 2013. I kind of knew all the benefits of being downtown. It's kind of the reason that we chose to pick another spot downtown. And being that it's the largest historic district outside of St. Paul, it makes it pretty special. I like the convenience of its location to the hospital, to the east side of town, up to Shattuck, out to the freeway. Um, our downtown is right by trails and rivers. It's quite unique. Uh, for my business, I love the historic nature of the downtown, so I get a lot of tourism, which is beneficial to the type of businesses that I do. Um, and I just love the community down here. I don't know, there's just kind of like a, a small town charm where you want to see those around you be successful. It seems slower, but you actually are surrounded by a lot of hustlers. The oh, small town vibe is, right. is nice here. In the, the openness of people just walking casually in and out and around, like you said, summertime. There's constantly people walking around downtown. It, it's a very historic town. Like, yep. you, you just one walk downtown Faribault, you can see the history that's still there and it's still being showcased. Faribault, it's the second biggest historic district in the state, right? There's a lot of old buildings um, and, a, and a lot of space to you know, build into. You know, we were designing the space, building the space, and you know, from the lighting to the bars to, you know, materials for the ceilings and shelving, all of that was reclaimed from this building. Oh gosh, there's so much character. The thought and the, oh my gosh, the history, the people that built it, the, what the intent was at the time, and all the different owners and all the different businesses that had been in that building, there's so much history. And to be able to continue it, I think is so valid and so valuable. Yeah, working with the Chamber has been great. If we ever need analytics or need to know what's going on in town, coming up in the month and stuff, they've got lots of communications going out about this is happening then, you know, so it's been, yeah. Uh, we would approach them with what we needed and how could they help, what we, we need to do on our behalf to make that possible. And uh, a lot of times, both parties try to figure out how to accomplish it. Um, that's not necessarily common at least in the world that I lived in. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's actually been a back and forth, and, and when we give them information, you know, someone, you can tell someone at the city or the county, a chamber, whatever, has thought about it, and they'll come back to you with something that they've actually, hey, I met a person, hey, I thought of this, and they're actually they're not an advocate for your business. The, the main thing the Chambers helped us out with with the uh, EDA grant, helped us get signage and uh, a couple other things when we opened up. The Chamber adds a lot of events down in this area with the Main Street, so that also helps throughout the year to bring people in. Well, I personally have been a recipient of um, multiple micro grants that the Chamber has offered. Um, the EDA also got us through COVID, which was really tough the chamber offering up any info they can on way, resources for businesses, small business mentoring, uh, programs and uh, uh, things that are available for businesses to take advantage of. Yeah, the great thing about Faribault is they're very in tune with the needs of not only the small business, but all the way to industry. And so we're always grateful when the chamber and the Main Street and the EDA and the HRA and the city council are always trying to help improve this area. Working with the city and having them be very flexible in how we approach our business versus being, you know, really regulatory and worried about whether or not we were going to do things right. It was always assumed that we would do the right thing, and um, you know that's very helpful when you're starting out a business. Um, I welcome having new neighbors and seeing how, as a team, as a community, we can come together and all be successful. The more businesses we have downtown 
the better everybody does. We all need each other. Yeah, I mean, we work with uh, Crosswinds Farms out in uh, Kenyon, Trump's Orchard, you know, for our cider, for our cocktails, the Mighty Fine Coffee Guys, for our coffee liqueur, um, Crimey B. Craig's Hot Sauce, and our Bloody Marys. So we have uh, partnerships and collaborations with like 10,000 Drops. You know, Jana's has our beans there, but she also has a special machine that she uses uh, to do, you know, real quick coffee. But it's still really good coffee because it uses fresh beans. Lots of people, lots of, lots of different ways we like to help and support people, and we've gotten support. It's nice to be able to bring something back downtown, and it's and it's it's getting busy again. The foot traffic's getting busy again. So, and we're both from Faribault, so we like to see it growing. There's so many other businesses that are successfully making it here, and they were all entrepreneurs with a dream. And so I help support those other um, businesses within my own. There is stuff going on, like. A lot of the weekends throughout the year down here. Um, the car shows have been a blast. The music's been a blast. I would say that the town's pretty busy. And uh, I, I think that that's a representation of what it is and where it wants to go. So for, for me, obviously I got five kids, so there's a lot of kids stuff that I'm kind of focused on because if I have free time, I'm, I'm focusing on those events. So. Uh, International Festival, my kids love that one. I don't know mm -hmm. if they, they'll be talking much about that one. But the Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market, yeah. There's two Farmer's Markets now too. There's another one out at the fairgrounds oh, on yeah. Thursday nights. Yep, so there's there's lots of, if you pay attention, uh, there's, and a, lot look around, there's a lot of stuff going on, yeah. My wife and I and our dog, it's it's mostly the, the outdoor activities, the, the hiking trails, the lakes. I'm just up the hill from here, so I'm like a mile from, from work. Um, and we do, everything here. We're just busy all the time with something fun going on in Faribault. And this is just a great town to live in. I love it here.